a few things that can help um, uh, everyone, okay? So um, let's go here. This is what I look like in real life right here on the left and uh, what I look like in alt. Well, obviously you see me. So who was here last year when I gave a presentation in Thailand? I guess you weren't here, but in Thailand, who was here last year? I guess raise your hand or do an emoji. All right, so last year I tried to focus a little bit on doing polling. On one of the presentations, I did a bunch of polling of uh, YouTubers with like millions of followers to really understand their minds a little bit better. This year at the end of the presentation, I'm gonna be showing some polling from uh, uh, the last 24 hours. We did some polling about 50 something people already. I invite the rest of you to add to that poll as well. But we got some of the early stats in. We're gonna share that to show your minds this year as well. So, um, so the overview of this is basically some highlights of, from peak D of 2020. I wanna talk a bit about some of the features that may help you guys and that we're excited about uh, what's new and what's going to be new in 2021, what we're gonna be focused on. And, and like I said, some of those polling results. Okay, so this isn't meant to be read you know, out loud, we're going to put this in a post later on so you can kind of consume it at your leisure. But this is basically the highlights of what's happened since the last Hive Fest in 2020. A lot of things have happened, including the creation of this entire site. You know, Peak D is a 2020 product as a predecessor, as a uh, successor to Steam Peak. So I want to focus first. You realize that communities came out in 2020. That was a 2020 sort of thing. The actual, and I want to talk about this for a second because it's such a big part of Peak D. As I go and look at the analytics, it really is where most of your time, if any of you guys use Peak D, most of your time has been spent in communities and, and not just community posts that are on communities, but the actual feeds. We're seeing that they get a lot of traffic. So I, I'm a strong believer in communities. I know a lot of you are and the numbers are supporting this. But I wanted to kind of make an appeal because back when the hard fork happened and, and we, we all kind of left Steam, we uh, lost the only person that's ever worked on the back end of communities. There has been essentially zero uh, progress on the community's uh, kind of, uh, what happens in the back end of communities since then so if there's anyone out there listening we really would love some of those ideas from from the past to kind of move forward in communities that's just my little plug for that let's move on to some of the other things that we have uh, done since then since then badges tipping and peak lock have all happened so peak lock we did to solve this concept of uh, an easy system to log in with mobile and then tipping isn't used by maybe a ton of people, but I love it. I tip a lot. That's that's kind of like your own way to reward someone for posting something or interacting. And it's not when you vote, when you do these reward uh, like high blockchain votes, that's a whole entire community way of rewarding and you're all voting for or against. Uh, but with tipping, you have a way to reward someone very personally um, and it's you're entirely in control of it. And then badges, which was kind of just like this beginning thing. And we have a lot more to come with some of these feature sets that we, we've done. We have also worked, as you've probably seen, a lot on analytics and, um, and views, per se. Like we want um, people to be recognized for bringing in traffic to the Hive blockchain or to Peak D. So we've, we've given out awards to the top most viewed post of the day and of the week, and we show the stats, and we have uh, ways to sort uh, posts by how much they've been viewed. So it's, it's kind of a fun thing to do, and we go in there and we vote on that because we believe that those posts should be rewarded or tipped. Uh, we've had, obviously, well over a month of time where uh, the nodes were very unstable, so we created this uh, um, this open source product that other sites, if you guys have sites, they can use uh, Peak Beacon, which allows uh, people to see 
what transactions are operating correctly from different nodes. And then onboarding referrals, which has gotten talked about quite a bit already today. Uh, we believe that with the Hive onboard, getting an account has been inc incredibly simplified. It's very, very quick and easy to get, get an account. But what onboarding also means is to be able to handle and to understand the Hive blockchain keys, which is, as we all know, not simple yet. So getting an account, very, very simple. And there's been very little, if any, um, abuse of that, but there's still work to be done to help new users handle the concept of blockchain with, um, you know, the, the, the keys and understanding that and the login methods that you have to use and keychain or pclock or something like that. So I'm not going to go over these. I just kind of want to show that there's been a bunch of other things going on in the back end with other features, some UI stuff and pages. But we're going to try to get to the heart of the matter after we talk about the the um, the feature that was added yesterday. Who here has already tried out chatting on Peak D? I got a couple of hands there. Yep. All right. Cool. Oh, fun. So quite a few. I mean, I don't know. I see there's an open chat for Peak D, and I've seen quite a few people in there, but I don't know, obviously, who's like chatting one another, you know, like DMs or or closed group conversations. So uh, we did the first release yesterday. I've already done some uh, uh, new small features and some fixes from yesterday. And the, we have a list of things that we'd like to see. Uh, it is built on the BChat protocol. And the, the main developer, I'm going to try to pronounce his name, Riazuli Riazu, uh, no, it's Riazuli Kabal, maybe something like that. Anyways, um, as they provide more features on BChat, we'll be able to do more things on our UI as well. So I hope you guys are excited about that and that works. And yes, to answer a lot of questions, um, we hope that many communities can have their own open chat. We're just waiting for something like a subscriber option so we know what chats you guys are interested in. We can show that in our platform to you. So once that's available we'll launch that for the communities as well all right so this roadmap i'm not going to go over it too much because we're going to get to it in in the polling and the reason we did polling is to get ideas from you guys um, and to see where the interest lies so if you want to come i guess you'd have to come closer to see some of the next upcoming text um, but uh, this is what we already had kind of in mind. Uh, a moment, I guess, I should talk about mobile app development for a second. It is definitely on our roadmap, and we've wanted it for a long time. But we've kind of made that decision that we were going to build a bunch of features so that when we did get to mobile app, then we can immediately integrate them instead of uh, simultaneously um, operating the website and the mobile app. And we believe that our um, mobile web version is pretty sufficient for now. If you ever have requests for the mobile app or mobile web version, happy to know. Um, also, we are, are hoping to find a developer to help us simultaneously develop mobile app and mobile web. So Sergio, who's in the back over there and you can ask him very technical questions. He's got the beanie on and the, the little snowball on top. He loves to talk. Now he's kind of quiet. So just come up and ask him questions. Um, and so that he doesn't have to like skip to one and then we're not developing on the mobile or on the website for months while we're doing the other thing. So we'd love to do simultaneous and have a developer on the other. And so I guess this is another plea to, you know, if anyone knows any good mobile developers that would be a good fit to work with us that is awesome but let's get to the polling so um these are just examples we basically said okay here's 15 different um possible new features where do you rank on them so and five being like extreme interest and one being no interest okay so here's a couple examples we have um we asked about this concept of simple custodian accounts and it seems to be a lot of interest there patreon there was a few people was like never in, not interested at all 
and quite a bit of interest on the other side. And then you have things like microblogging or like the Twitter aspect, which we've thought about for a long time here. And so we just like, okay, where's the interest lie? And it's kind of all over, you know, all over the place. And maybe there's some people going, I don't know how that would work with rewards and stuff like that. And then mobile application obviously is kind of like, okay, yeah, I'll take it. So, and then there was another one which basically asked about upgrades like where do you where do you think we are at with uh, these different sections of the site like search onboarding profile and wallet and so one means like there needs to be a lot of work which makes sense search we implemented a while back and haven't gotten back to and we have plans but it, so it makes sense it's like yeah there's there's a lot of room for development on that and on onboarding but stuff like profile pages in the wallet page which we've worked on recently, it's good to hear that people think that it's done pretty well. So I'll share this later in some sort of follow-up post or you can watch the video later. Here's some of the polling by raw data, uh, the averages. We did tell people if they didn't understand the concept or didn't have opinion to skip it. So the averages should be pretty good. So I'm gonna show you a slide where it's comparative like ranked. So there you go. Here's some of the things that we did on the left is the new stuff and on the right is the upgraded so i would suggest i'd love to see more posts like this or more presentations where we're we're going out and interacting with the community here or people that may be interested new users like trying to figure out what is confusing about our site and get getting some immediate data right and even more than what we did which was basically 57 polls in like 20, well, 15 hours. Um, and we do invite the rest of you to jump in and uh, we'll show the updated stuff. But here's the top, uh, the the results that by uh, by the top desired. And one thing to recognize about that, it's kind of like a, it's like a shopping experience where you don't have any, any limit and you're like, yes, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. And then on the right is basically, okay, you have a limit, pick five. So you'll see it's, we wanted to ask the same question in two different ways to see if we got similar results. So, and interestingly enough, Starkers is here and fun to see you here, but we were like, it was fun to see video uploading be such a highly uh, interesting thing, both on the left and the right hand side. So, and on the right hand side, there was, they were pretty close in numbers. And I guess on the left, people just, basically in general, want more and more stuff, which is understandable. So we still have to interpret that as well. So um, other things that were in both the left and the right was uh, this concept of, uh, well, a digital marketplace or adding more Hive engine features. And what Howo talked about earlier, the Patreon paywall type features. Uh, it's interesting to see it 10 on one side and six on the others because there are certain people that were just very, very interested in one thing. As you saw from those first polls, where it's kind of higher on left and right. So some people were like, no, and a lot of people, yes. So it was uh, fun doing the, the quick poll. We hope to be using uh, these, these results. Uh, your comments, as we often do, and even if you come up and talk to me or or Asgarth Sergio over there and um, say what you'd like. But if uh, I, Roland will be telling me if I have much time to answer any questions, if there is any, I talk fast and there's lots of data, so maybe there won't be. But hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thanks. Yes, I'll clap for myself too. What do you think, Roland? Hello? Yes. Yes. Uh, Garvey, good to see you, man. Nice presentation. Yeah. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Um, Thank you. I love, I love, this, I love this, um, this, this top desired by five selections and top desired by rating. One of the things that we're looking to do on 3Speak is have a, a rewards program whereby the, the community defines what they want and then we have a lowest bidder 
to execute each one of the things that the community wants. And something that we're kind of in, in design phase at the moment. The reason I'm asking the question is that's one thing which is very similar to what you've built here. You've got the ad revenue partnerships, which is also very similar. We'll, we'll be building an ad, ad system. We, we want these things to be kind of open source and available for all of Hive to, to, um, to be able to work on. So first thing is I'd, I'd like to suggest that we work together on some of those things. And the same same thing with the video uploading. You know, we, we're trying to build all of this open source, uh, put a token out there where we all share equally in the ownership of the, of the, of the token, which we'll talk about in our presentation tomorrow. But it, it, you know, generally, are, are you happy to kind of work on an ad, ad partnership, an ad revenue system, um, a, a system whereby the community selects what it wants, and a, a video uploading kind of thing as an open source project for the whole Hive community that different apps can plug in? It, so in general, between between myself and uh, Asgarth, we're very interested in decentralized concepts where it's where it can exist in multiple platforms, that sort of mm -hmm. decentralization, so that yep. they can work together. So if someone goes off and like creates a polling or microblogging or something like that, it's like, hey, uh, we believe the best solution would to create an underlying protocol that would work amongst many different people. And we understand if they want to go off and do something that's very closed. That's fine, but we we want to work with people like yourself that will uh, it can use be used for multiple. Yes, so to answer your question, yes. Okay, let's talk about that separately. So, the, the answer. yeah, so talk to me or Starkers and say that this is part of your interest, and we should be talking about that. Create a group chat on B chat and keep the conversation going, or at least here for this weekend. Uh, another question from Danny Kwan. You're on the okay. air, please. Danny, please uh, unmute yourself. Mute and unmute, maybe. We can't hear you at the moment. Once more, Danny, I can't hear you at the moment. Is he in a different room? Or is he here? It's okay. He's on air and uh, he should be here, at least. Uh, kind of here right Danny come forward uh, yes I think I hear you no Danny unfortunately at the moment we can't hear you do you have a question for uh, Jarvi please mute and unmute yourself or else anyone else so far okay. I don't see it thanks a lot Jarvi